What's up everyone, welcome back to another video. This time I got the new Black Series Moloch figure. This one's straight out of Hong Kong. Um, I got it from this seller here. Monsky, Monsky AU on eBay. Um, yeah, these things have just hit hit some online retailers in Hong Kong and I'm more than likely throughout, throughout some stores in Asia already. Um, obviously they, they're due to get on get on ship soon and start heading out to um, the US this is going to be a US target exclusive when they eventually hit stores um, so I'm very very happy to have one in hand a little bit earlier as, as always um, not as always <laughs> sometimes I get lucky um, there's a little bit of writing on the back there it's a pretty it's a pretty big box I think it's about the same as the Gamorrean guard maybe not as Maybe a bit wider. So it looks like a pretty solid figure on the inside. But uh, yeah, definitely, it looks looks bulky enough to justify a bigger box. Um, yeah, certainly wouldn't have fit. He's sort of quite quite thick, so he certainly wouldn't have fit in a in another one, but uh, in a regular box. So let's crack him open and have a look. All right, here he is. He's looking pretty damn cool. Um, just do a quick size comparison next to next to Han. So he's a decent size, but he's quite quite thick. <laughs> um, yeah, there's a there's a lot of him, but he looks he looks cool. Accessory wise, he's got his he's got his staff, which has got to be like some kind of tortured souls sort of vibe with all these little mini humanoid bodies sort of wrapped around each other actually it looks better on my little camera here than it does in person so it's right and uh, this little blaster pistol which fits into his holster let's pop that out it's pretty decent it looks good Holds nicely in his hand. And now we've got this sort of mask. We'll give you a close up of his face before I attempt that because uh, I tried it before and it's a little bit tricky. But uh, there's his head, the head underneath. He's a cool looking alien. I would like to see Lady Proxima. Obviously, they're the same the same species, but uh, yeah, I'd very much like to see Lady Proxima. She was cool. But yeah, some nice detail on this. It's uh, it's just working out how this all sort of fits together nicely. So I think I've got to slot this thing in the top there. And it just sort of comes up and sits. Oh, look at that! That's better than I, better than when I got it before. Practice makes perfect. But that looks good. I really like that. Moloch's a cool looking alien. And I'm glad they've gone with the sort of molded plastic, um, sort of out of wear robe here um, you know it just allows to give details that some soft goods can't um, some nice weathering nice texture and cool molded patterns it's, you know it's a nice soft malleable plastic doesn't obscure anything same with this bottom piece here this is nice and soft and then we get to his non-legs because <laughs> he doesn't have legs and uh, yeah like I said he's the same species as Lady Proxima so he's not gonna have legs and if you've got the three and three quarter inch figure which I recently got it's the same so but you know it seems to be seems to be molded all the way up which is really cool because they could have done it quite simple and just had that one solid block and uh, but yeah <laughs> I don't think I'm revealing anything by looking up his skirt like that, but... <laughs> I 
I think it's really cool, really nicely detailed. I think they've done it. It's a bit tricky to look. All these little tendrils and tentacles and extra growths and there's no paint detail on there, but it doesn't really need that. I think that's, I think it looks good the way it is. So sort of belts, straps around there. Looks pretty good. This big sort of cocoon hood looks nice too. Reminds me of sort of an armadillo. Well, I wonder whether that can also just sort of roll back like an armadillo and that sort of just pops up when he needs to go out in his headgear um, with his mask. But um, yeah, Moloch was pretty cool um, for, the, for the short amount of screen time that he got um, on Corellia. Some dirty weathering around there. Around there looks nice. There he is, I'll give him a bit of a 360. And we'll try and work out the articulation as we go here, because there's not going to be as much. Um, so as far as I can tell, there's that torso joint there. There's uh, hinged wrist joints. For his little, little hands. Elbows, shoulders, and then that sort of little bit of movement with the head underneath, which I'm just going to pop that down again. So we need one more quick look. His head, which does move a little bit. But uh, yeah, I think I'm going to leave his mask on. I think that looks cool. Anyway guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And I'll respond as soon as I can. Until my next video, may the force be with you guys. Bye.